Welcome back to my channel. My name is Miss Kara Cakes. So today is my birthday. It's actually the day before my birthday, but I'm putting it up on my birthday. So I figured I'd do a little get ready with me, talking shit, all that kind of crap. I think I'm gonna do like a red smoky eye because I really like my saffron palette that I got from Suva Beauty. And it's my birthday, and that's what I feel like. I was using the NYX pigment primer stuff that I've been using. I usually use the Ulta uh, matte eye primer. I like that one better. But this one isn't bad. So once this is gone, I have an extra of the other one. But I got it after I already opened this one, so... In case you have not seen me use this before, this is it. This is what it looks like inside. It's really pretty. I really like all these colors. So, I really don't care that it's my birthday. I mean, I'm glad it is. <laughs> but, I'm just... I don't It's just another day. I'm so... I'm not that old, but... I'll be 36 tomorrow. So I'm old enough to wear birthdays don't really mean anything. Birthdays only mean stuff if you're young or if you're like super old. <laughs> when you're like in the middle, it's okay, it's another birthday. So yeah, it's not that big a deal. But not gonna lie, I do like getting presents. I think the best present I've ever gotten it has to be a few years ago not a few it was a while ago um when I was little my mom used to always play this song on my birthday it was a tape she bought, like at the mall or somewhere. It was like, My, my name, name is Zoom, Zoom and I live, and I on, the live on the moon. And I came, and I came down to came Earth down to just, earth to, just to sing you this hey, tune. Hey, Cause Patty Lou, it's your birthday, it's your birthday. Today. today. And like, it was real cheesy. And, but every year, she played that tape. It was a audio tape. And every year, I listened to it. And it was just what we did. I guess we got older, we moved around a bunch, and she never, didn't play anymore, and it got lost. So, it, you know, never heard from it again. And I think the second or third year after we were married, my husband woke me up one morning with that song. He found the CD on line. And bought it. He had to put my name in there funny. Because apparently K-A-R-A. -A, when you put in there is Kara. Which is wrong. Because Kara starts with a C. And not a car. Kara with a K. So that I think. In recent memories. Was totally. My favorite birthday present. It was just so thoughtful. And so sweet. I loved it. He was born five days before Christmas. My mom brought me home on Christmas Eve. She always says some cheesy shit like, I was your best Christmas present ever. I'm like, aw, thanks, Mom. I love you, too. But it's really cheesy. But, yeah. I, uh, I definitely got shafted on the birthday parties. There's, like, three birthday parties from when I was little that I can remember. One was a New Kids on the Block party, which was fucking awesome. But I invited, like, all the girls from my elementary school class. Happy birthday! This is your day. 
And it was just the shit. And then there was another one. I invited like three girls that I was friends with. And we went and saw a movie. I don't even remember what movie. But we went and saw a movie. And I was like... So that was like it. I think my best friend Kathy threw me a surprise party one year. Because I never had a surprise party. But my mom always told me, she's like, It's so busy around the holidays. Let's just wait till January and you can have a party then. And then we just never did. Because I forgot or she forgot. And... Okay. My husband is real into birthdays. Like, real into birthdays. And that's okay. Like, way more into birthdays than I am. Also, since it's so close to Christmas now, I... Starting the day after Thanksgiving, I only listen to Christmas music in the car. Like, that's it. Christmas channel. I don't change it from that. I hear a lot of Christmas music. And I definitely have some favorites and some ones that I will instantly switch to another. I have three Christmas stations programmed in my car. There are a few songs that I'll listen to. I mean, a few songs that if it starts playing, I immediately change it because I fucking hate that song. Like, I really, I really hate Blue Christmas. I said, I don't like that song. I don't like sad Christmas songs. Like, what the fuck? Come on, Christmas is happy. Stop. Like that fucking Christmas shoes song? Fuck out of here. Stop. I don't want to cry for some sad Christmas shit. Stop. Just stop playing it. I don't like that song. Not even that good. The even if it wasn't sad... The song in general isn't that good. What's the other one? Oh, that, uh... So this is Christmas. Do, 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 do. I hate that song. My mom, growing up, had this fucking screensaver on the computer that she'd always put on during Christmas. Every time the screensaver would come on, a really tingy version of that song without the words would play. Oh my god. It would just play over and over and over. Like, why? Turn the fucking sound off, mom. That was really annoying. So that's why I hate that song. A lot. Like that song can go away for real. I just my favorite Christmas song ever, 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 ever is the first Noel. I love that song. Oh my god! I don't care who's singing it, how it's sung. I I love that song. And honestly, Michael Bublé and Josh Groban can sing me anything Christmassy. And I'll listen to it. If they can see me annoying Christmas advertisement and I'll just... Mm, that's beautiful. <laughs> Do you guys have a favorite Christmas song? Do you have a song you really fucking hate? So we live in the house that I grew up in. Like, after I graduated high school, we moved to s about 25 minutes away from here. But my dad never sold the house because my dad was a pastor. Yeah, my dad was a pastor. A man of God. My father. And, uh, I mean, I am kind of a typical pastor's kid, so I guess it makes sense. But... 
So my dad, we moved into the parsonage, but my dad always kept this house. Because we didn't ever really need to sell it. And then my sister lived here a while. And then after we got, me and Kevin got married and I moved to New York, I got pregnant. And dad was like, well, you guys can move here and live in this house. Because my husband got laid off. You can live in this house for free until Kevin gets back on his feet and, you know, finds a job and, you know, you guys get settled. And I'm like, yeah. My husband was like, I guess kids like houses. Okay. So we moved back into this house, which is, again, the house I grew up in. And we're always finding, in the basement especially, like shit that I grew up with that I forgot about. Like, oh yeah. But we started decorating for Christmas on Monday. And Kevin came up, my husband, Kevin, came upstairs and showed me, I'll put the picture of it, that. And I immediately almost started crying. That was something that my mom put out for Christmas every year. And me and my sister would play with it so much. Like we would pretend they, well, I mean they're carolers, but we'd hold concerts with them. And they were singing songs and oh yeah, we would play with that all the time. Fight over who was the pink one. The pink one broke, it's not in that picture. My dad, or Kevin's going to super glue it. But we would fight over who was the pink one and just... That was our favorite thing at Christmas, to play with that little caroler's decoration. And he brought that upstairs, and I haven't seen that for 18 years probably. Like it was, And it just brought back all of those memories. Oh, my goodness. I was like, oh, my God, where did you feel like I forgot that we even had that? Like, I forgot that it, my mom hadn't been putting it up at Christmas. It just left my mind. But as soon as he brought it upstairs, all the memories just flooded back. And, oh, my God, it was, it was way, very emotional. I was very surprised. Especially because I'm not really a very emotional person. Well, sad, nostalgic emotional. It was just amazing. And he was like, are you going to cry? I'm like, no. So I'm so excited that I found that. Or that he found that and brought it upstairs. And I'm keeping it. Because my sister, we had this. Let me see, I'll put a picture if I can find one up. This plastic light up big, like, probably about up to my chest now, height plastic Santa that we used to plug in every fucking year. And I used to pretend that was my boyfriend. And we would dance with it, you know, play. It was fun. My sister took that. She has it at her house. So, fuck her. I'm keeping the carolers. They're mine. She can have my boyfriend. I'm getting those. And my mom, she started making her Christmas tree pink. Like, it's a regular Christmas tree, but all the ornaments are pink. It's like a pink ribbon. Pink lights. I mean, I'm low-key jealous because I fucking love pink. But I'm like, where's all our ornaments? Where's the ones that we made? Where's all your old ornaments? And I can't imagine my dad likes that. <laughs> and I guess he does whatever my mom wants. But, I don't know. I'll have to ask him that next time I see him. I mean, it looks cool because it's pink. 
but it's pink. <laughs> our tree, like we always have a real tree. And our tree has definitely, every year, we cannot ever get that fucking tree straight. Like it's always leaning, and we end up tying it to a string and make sure it doesn't fall over. I hate that. But we just, we can't get it straight. I don't know why. It just never ends up straight, ever. But, um, so if you follow me on Instagram, I had some videos of the tree with, let's see, first one was Lean Back by Terror Squad in the background, and then Lean With It, Rock With It in the background. I thought I was hilarious. I always think I'm hilarious. And then, we, uh, Kevin and me both like multicolor lights. We don't really like plain white lights. I mean, we do, but not on the tree. So we put colored lights all over it. And then our ornaments, like I have a lot of old ones from when I was little. And then a bunch of the ornaments are ones the kids made. Just a very family oriented Christmas tree. I bought an ornament this year that is... Like a green Christmas tree with those lights at the end of the tree. And I'll throw a picture of it up. Because we used to have one of those when I was little. I think my mom still has it. I might see if she'll give it to me. I'll ask her. If she even knows where that shit is. You yeah, were definitely not one of those houses where don't touch the ornament. Don't touch the decorations. They're too, you know, careful. I also opened up the ornament box and we had probably about 10 years worth of old ass candy canes in there. I finally threw them all out. Like, um, I'm tossing all this. Kevin's like, okay, go ahead. I'm like, Ew. Especially because the youngest one tried to eat one. I'm like, no, don't do that. That's gross. Put that down. <laughs> I've really been liking this glitter eyeliner. You can actually see the glitter in the liner, I think. It's fun. But it's peel off, and it doesn't really peel off very well, but it feels funny when it dries on your eyeballs. And you know what the worst thing about getting older is? When your eyelids start to get wrinkly. It's really hard to put eyeliner on a wrinkly eyelid. So Kevin told me that he was going to put my makeup on for me one day. And I'm kind of scared. Like he's over there a lot of the time on the bed, but he's never really watching what I'm doing. I don't think he has any idea what the fuck to do. So that will be an interesting experiment. So I did cancel BoxyCharm. They did a whole thing. It's kind of fucked up. And I'm pissed. Instead of doing next month's unboxing, I will explain what the fuck happened. Because it's not cool. And fuck BoxyCharm. And maybe now I can get the Ipsy Glam Blade Plus thing. If I feel like it. I don't really. I was going to cancel BoxyCharm anyway. I don't need all that fucking makeup. I mean, I want all that makeup. 
I don't need all of that makeup. My mother-in-law is, what do you want for Christmas besides makeup? They give me four or five ideas. I was like, um, makeup? She's like, four or five makeup? I'm like, yeah. She's like, all right. I was like, Man, I had another Too Faced hangover, but I have no idea where it went. What is your favorite inexpensive primer? I don't like silicone ones like uh, Smashbox. I hate that one. I like the ones that are look like lotion, kind of. Those are the kind of primers that I like. So what's your favorite primer that you use? Now I prefer not expensive. I have a lot of empty. Shit! It's all okay. I just threw this shit on the floor. On accident. Let's see if there's any left in this ordinary. I don't think there is, but. Ah. There is. This one is my favorite. And since the ordinary, they like, kicked that guy out. I have to figure out where I can get it from. Because I used to have it at Sephora. But when he went off the rails, they stopped selling it there. I think I got too much. I've been using this lately. It's the ABH foundation stick. I like it. It's not bad. I think the color is a pretty good match. So we have uh, a couple of things to like, well, one thing to put on the lawn, like a Santa Claus. Not an inflatable one, it's like a flat one. It says, like, Santa stop here or some shit. And then we have a couple things just stick in the ground. They don't really light up. But Kevin refuses to put lights up on the house. <laughs> He's not chancing climbing up on the ladder and falling. Because, yeah, he might. And I'm okay with that. My dad used to do that, but my dad's also crazy. Not a little bit crazy. He's just... He's... Yeah. They used to call him Sparky. <laughs> so, yeah. Kevin is not as adventurous as my father was. With home repairs and such. crazy when you go, you know, driving around your neighborhood or whatever, and one of those houses that has like 20 of those blow up inflatable lawn things, like, I mean, if you have that, that's cool. Celebrate, celebrate your Christmas how you want to. I just, I couldn't do that. I also wonder how much it would cost to keep all those running every night. Because I know lights aren't that expensive to light up every night. But one of those inflatables with the... They have their own fan and shit. 
And then there's this one house, a street over. They have this, oh my god, on their porch, they have like this recliner. It looks like a real recliner. And they have like a real looking Santa. Like, it looks like somebody dressed as Santa is sitting on their porch. Like all of, just sitting there all the time, 24 7. It is so fucking creepy. I mean, it looks cool, but it looks so real. Like, really real. Like, every time we pass by that house, I'm like, doing a double check. Double take. You know what I mean. Because I swear it's a real person. And I mean, it might be. Do you guys decorate your house? Oh, and we have a little snowman we put in the window. You can see from us. Ooh, and we have one of those laser dot things that you that projects on the house. But I also heard you have to be careful with those and not put them too high so they point at the sky because it hits an airplane. Blind the driver or some shit. Yeah. But it looks cool. But yeah, we're very, very minimalistic when it comes to outside Christmas decorations. I mean, I made a wreath that we put on the door. It's pretty. We have a mantle over the fireplace that I like decorating. I think that's fun. Today was actually nice. Like, the weather isn't too crazy cold after I got done at oh yeah I got my hair color uh what you call it it's a little zhuzhed up so it looks more purpley I took my youngest to the park cause it wasn't it was like 50's in the upper 50's so we went and played there he had a fucking blast no. He ran away from me in the front yard. He went over to the side of the house and hid. Like, no, 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 no. That shit is not going to fly, little boy. Like, we'll come back to the park another day. Don't worry if it's not cold. If it's cold, we'll go up to McDonald's as a play place. Don't worry. He was not happy with me. I think I just brushed my eyeball. I, mean, I think I'm not going to kind of like bronzer contour so we put on this blush and then one of these blush toppers over it so that way I don't have to put on highlighter either I mean I love highlighter I just I don't really think I have the time right now and that's okay I think since I'm the red smokiness I'm gonna go in with this red one and then put no what am I gonna do yeah I don't think I'm in the red and then put this dark pink glittery topper over it. I've definitely been liking going heavy on the blush up near the back of my cheek. I just think that looks really cool. And I'm kind of bringing it here just because I'm pasty. It helps a little bit. I don't know, I just think that's so pretty. I'll blend that out a little more in a minute. What do you think? Is that too much blush? Does it look weird to you? I, I like it. And then I always add blush here and down the middle because... I've always done that. 
It's because it makes my whole face, I think, look better. Because the sun hits you other places besides just your cheeks. It definitely makes it more sparkly. I like sparkle. That might be a little too much Rudolph. And now I don't feel the need to do the bronzer and the highlight. And all that shit. Do you guys curl your eyelashes? I try curling my eyelashes. But every time I do that, they just, they don't curl. They're like my hair. It's just difficult to curl them. And I'm not buying a heated curl eyelash curler because that just seems dangerous. This one is the Suva Beauty Sphinx. I fucking love this color. So dark red and it's just so pretty. You know the worst thing about putting on a liquid lip? I'll get in the car and I'll look over here and not have gotten all the way down. Oh, And that's all I can see on my face every time I look in the mirror. So I always have to make sure I go super slow and get all of my lip. I don't ever think my lips are that big so I'm trying to cover them all with fucking liquid lipstick. I'll insert pictures of my face closer if you want to see it. If you don't. You can stop watching the video now. Thanks so much for getting ready with me. See you guys later. Have a great day.